My name is Cody Eccles. I'm Troop 300 out of Tyrone, Pennsylvania. When I started my project, I went to the uh, local borough office and I asked the mayor what I could do for a project. And he kind of threw me towards the idea of some guys, the Legion, wanted us to put six flagpoles around the rock. And I really kind of went around that idea, like, that's a good idea. I really didn't know how to go by it, so I asked my dad, and he's like, yeah, it's doable. I mean, we'll have to put lights around the flagpoles. And uh, we're figuring out how we're going to fundraise six flagpoles. It's going to cost three grand and two grand for lights. It'd be like a five grand project. We really didn't know how to fundraise it. It was like, you can't do, so you can only do so many spaghetti dinners and all these like all parades and donations. You can only do so many of them to raise 5,000. And kind of, we were asking a family friend and he came up with the idea, hey, why don't you sell veterans bricks? I didn't know it was gonna grow and grow and grow and get bigger and bigger and it just going so huge that it just brought the whole town together. I didn't know that that was gonna happen. And the funny thing was when we started selling the veterans bricks, we sold the flagpoles in the first two weeks and it took us another six months to sell all the bricks. It was real cool. It was kind of hard to fathom thinking to raise $30,000 in a year's time. In the first couple months, we went to presentations. We probably did 30 or 40 presentations for this project. And my Aunt Heather came up with the idea, why don't we put in like a Facebook page, Eagle for Freedom, you know? And we could post all the pictures of what we've done in the park. And I'm like, yeah, it's not a bad idea. And our Facebook page kind of really got it out. We got brick orders from California. We got some brick orders from Florida. And when the dedication came, all these people from all over just came to the dedication. It was really cool. There's a lot of cool stories of these veterans in Tyrone, especially Robert Watson. He graduated from Tyrone and he started on the Scorpion. And right after he started on the Scorpion, the Scorpion went down in 1968. We have other cool stories, like Paul R. Miller. He was actually one of the Band of Brothers. They actually made a movie about him. There's not just men's stories in here, there's women's stories too, like Carolyn Wartz. She was in the United States Air Force and she was a nurse. You know, that's just a few of the cool stories in here, and there's tons more. It's real amazing how this Veterans Memorial looks at night. I know, it does look great. I kind of grew up with scouting. It showed me that what's the right thing to do and what's not the right thing to do. It showed me that um, you always want to do a good turn daily. You want to help with your mom with groceries. You want to help other people and it really made me into the man I turned today. I think it really helped me prepare for my Eagle Scout project, for helping the veterans and helping other people and even helping the community and every chance I get.